next speaker is Ibrahim Awad. Good evening. My name is Ibrahim Awad. I am a member of the State Bar of Georgia. I'm a member of the Trial Lawyers College. I'm a member of the Georgia Trial Lawyers Association. I grew up in Dalton, Georgia, just a little bit north of here. And as a child, I remember hearing the Imam that would stand on the mimbar saying these words, violence is the language of the inarticulate. Violence is the language of the inarticulate. And so I have done everything in my power to become articulate because that paves the road to nonviolence. In 2005, when I graduated high school, I was only one of three people that graduated with something called the International Baccalaureate Diploma. That was 17 years ago in 2005. That same year, Israel imposed what they called was a temporary blockade on Gaza. 17 years ago, the same year I graduated high school. Four years after that, when I finished my studies here, just down the road at Kennesaw State University with an English degree, at that point, Israel had imposed a permanent blockade on Gaza, restricting everything from going in, imports or exports, controlling electricity, restricting medicine, and even controlling the water. Now the issue of water is much more profound because the origin of the occupation was in 1967. You can read about it, it's called the occupation of water where Israeli military order 158 made it criminal for any Palestinian to even extract water from water wells. It criminalized Palestinians from even accumulating rainwater in cisterns. That's water. That was in 1967, just happened to be two years after my mother was born in Gaza. Had she not made it out, I would be in Gaza right now. I would be amongst the people that have their homes demolished in Gaza right now. As I think about that statement I heard as a child, violence is the language of the inarticulate, I think about the proposal and the draft that's before you all. And I see the words unwavering support to Israel. And I don't think we're being prudent. I think our support should be conditioned on something, maybe like the extermination of children maybe like the extermination of civilians. Right now, over 2,000 children have been killed. The words unwavering support translate to mean Israel is above the law. And no one is above the law. Not in this community, not overseas, not even the President of the United States. That's that unwavering support should be withdrawn. There has to be a condition. No one can do and commit these crimes with impunity. The one-sided mention of the Jewish faith totally dismisses the Christian Palestinians, the Muslim Palestinians, even members of the Jewish community that you will hear from after me who criticize the policies of the Israeli government. It dismisses them as well. Violence is the language of the inarticulate and also the misinformed. Because if we don't become prudent in what we say and what we resolve, then it will only increase crime like the ones that you mentioned, was mentioned, Wadi'a Al-Fayyum, six-year-old who was stabbed to death 26 times. His mother was also stabbed dozens of times, but she survived and is in critical condition. This resolution needs to be delayed. We cannot rush forward with a resolution such as this one 
as imbalanced as it is. It needs to be delayed. Thank you.